construction cranes on the edge of Kiev. Even when temperatures go below zero here, the building continues. New apartments, offices and supermarkets. In the last few years, the country has experienced a real construction boom. Bebel Schweiger is a German architect. Her speciality is energy-efficient building. She's here working for the German Society for International Cooperation, the GIZ, on one of their sustainable development projects. We arrive at the building site. Schweiger and her team are here almost every day, making sure the work is being done as planned. At first glance, this 19-story development looks like any other in Kiev. But the project is rare for the Ukraine. The technology being used is environmentally friendly and energy efficient. We work with the architects and planners and give advice on construction. We offer courses for the tradesmen on how to install insulation properly and how to attach the window locks so that everything stays airtight. Energy efficient windows, modern ventilation systems and top level insulation. It's all part of a new set of standards that Schweiger believes is urgently needed in the Ukraine. You can see the insulation standard that we have managed here with this pilot project. And this is a sample that I brought along, which represents the current Ukrainian standard. You can see quite clearly that there is a major difference between the two insulation types. The cost is pretty similar, but there is a major difference in energy efficiency. Schweiger says that energy bills can be cut by nearly half with this new technology. And that means less carbon dioxide goes into the atmosphere from the power stations. Time to talk shop with the local architect Dmitry Antonyuk. He designed the building. He was also responsible for convincing the private investor funding the construction to take part in the energy efficiency project. It wasn't easy. When a client realizes they need to invest 10 to 20 percent more in the project and that they'll only get their money back later, they're generally not interested. These days, people want a fast profit. Proof of this can be seen all around Kiev. Often, even new buildings are in a poor state. This apartment block, for instance, is not even five years old. Heat imaging shows the weak links. Some 30 percent of all Ukrainian energy consumption comes from the domestic housing sector. The pictures show quite clearly why this is the case. Here you can see that the balcony windows are losing a lot of heat. Up there on the windows, you can see that it's also incorrectly fitted. The warmth is escaping from there, too. These are building problems that many Ukrainians just have to put up with. Nadia Anadina says that when her apartment is too cold, she just turns on the gas stove. Her windows are old and the heating can't be turned up or down. Although in general, prices are going up, gas is still affordable for now. I think as long as oil, gas and electricity don't become a lot more expensive, as long as our costs stay the same, then people won't think much about energy efficiency. So far, energy has been subsidized by the state, but due to the empty state coffers, that's about to change. Recently, gas prices went up by 30 percent. It all bodes well for Bebel Schweiger and her project. The Olenkos have bought a three-bedroom apartment in the building. One of the deciding factors was the lower energy costs. Heating is already a big cost. We want to make sure that we don't have to pay too much in the future. 
But it's also an interesting project. We're young and interested in new ideas like this. Of course, the tradesmen are also unfamiliar with the new building methods as well. Schweiger knows that she has to rely on them to make this project a success. Here at the Kiev Technical School, heat pump and ventilation system installation has only just been put on the curriculum. First of all, Schweiger and her colleagues need to teach the teachers. Only then can they pass the information on to their students. When we were in training, we didn't know any of this. Environmental protection was part of our course, but there was nothing on energy efficiency. It just wasn't an issue back then. Back at the building site, solar cells are being installed on the roof to provide some of the apartments with warm water. The use of renewable energy plays an important role here. Bebel Schweigel will then monitor how much energy the house uses for a year to test the project's efficiency. I think it will take two or three years before demand for energy-efficient housing increases. In the end, people will have to pay for the energy that they use. Schweiger hopes that the building will encourage other house owners, architects and builders in the Ukraine to follow her lead. But she says politicians also have a role to play by making the new energy standards law.